everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Craft Designs. I'm coming by today to do some more of these earrings. This time we're going to try Cernit Translucent. Okay, I've rolled out two little chunks, whatever you want to call it. Rolled them out, um... On a four, wow. On a four. And I've got the red, pure red, and the silk white from the Hippie Crafter Mica Powder line. Please excuse me, because as you can tell, my voice is still not right. Okay, this is just a makeup brush that came with the set, not this set, but a set of mica powders. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the uh, larger of the two pieces with the red. And I'm going to put it on pretty heavy, as heavy as I can get it anyway. I'm afraid I'm going to flick it over there. <laughs> Alright, now. Instead of... I feel like I need to put an arrow that says insert coughing fit here. <laughs> I can blow my nose today. I don't know why I would worry about getting the white over that red because it won't stick. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do the typical. Roll these up and incorporate the mica powders in. Then I'm going to roll it back out. Um, on my thickest setting and chop it up I think no <laughs> mm. I'm gonna mix these in roll it out on my thickest setting and then we'll be back okay now all I'm gonna do is stack them on top of each other then I'm going to roll it through my pasta machine again on the same setting, my, my thickest setting. Then I'm going to cut it in half and restack it again. I'll be back. Okay, rolled that out on my thickest setting. Oh, that should feel like feel like I should do a voiceover if I knew how to do a voiceover. I don't have an external mic, so. Not in my wheelhouse, but. Okay. Now. We've got four layers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chip this up. 
chunk it up, whatever. Chip it up. I'm not worried about how little conditioned it is or anything like that right now. Okay. Okay. Just gonna break these up a little bit. I think you could probably see where we're going with this. Okay, this is Unicone Art Crushed Crystal Magical Michael Mica Pigment Enhancer. Michael, that was just for you. You know that, right? That's my son. I don't know if he watches, but... Um... This stuff, <laughs> this stuff is addictive. You can use it in resin, you can use it in polymer clay, you can, I'm sure you can use it in lots of things. Okay. Now, when it says it's a magical mica, it is just a larger cut of mica powder. As opposed to can't reach it right now, but anyway. This is an interference screen, but anyway. You'll know, you'll see the difference in the cut. See how fine that is? This is not the same animal. <laughs> it is so sparkly. But, when you use it in resin, get my little spoon and give you an example. When you use it in resin, if you use that much, it's too much. like that will give you a sparkle throughout your resin now if you're doing it white see-through sparkliness then the tiniest bit but since this is polymer clay that doesn't apply now, still don't go crazy, because as you know, when you add mica powder to polymer clay, the polymer clay loses its ability to stick to itself, alright? You've got to really mix it in to get it to stick back together. Which is why I did it off camera. Um, I apologize. Y'all just don't want to listen to me that much more. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to put this in a bag. Shake it up. Okay. I need a little bit. 
bit more. At the last moment, I decided to add a little silver leaf. Silver leaf off of me. Yeah, right. All right. Now we're just going to compress it into a block. Which this um, is already pretty compressed. So. Now, it does keep wanting to split where that layer of silver leaf is. Okay, this is just a layer of translucent. It's like rolled out on a maybe a three? I don't know. Okay, now I'm just going to roll it out. Once again, on my thickest setting. Okay. Now, this is just a set of the circle cutters. I believe they're actually Sculpey brand. Now, <laughs> I want to try to get... I want to try to get some of that silver Now I've got I've got the next bigger size. And I'm not as worried about getting some of the silver in there as I am about the actual pattern. <laughs> In the piece, so I'll go up here. 
Alright. Okay. Before I'm just going to bake these. Just gonna put a dot where I want the top to be. Not worried about pushing it all the way through or anything like that. Again, I'm just worried about, I'm not worried, but just thinking about the pattern and how it will line up when it's baked all right now i'm gonna bake these 275 i'll probably only do these for 30 minutes okay here's the candy cane ones really lovely i love the way they turned out Now, if you're doing this, cutting the heads off of head pins, throw away these little mm -hmm, heads. Um, they are really sharp, alright? So, throw them away, or you're not going to be sticking your arm onto them. Okay, now. I just picked these little quad leaf end caps for this one. And then these are larger beads um, that I did without a circle cutter or anything. I just rounded the scraps together. So, I have these snowflake end caps. I think they're really pretty but I don't get a chance to use them very often but these tiny little glass rondelles won't fit those large snowflakes so I just chose these okay so I chose all the same um, end caps because these are smaller end caps for this one I hope that makes sense okay yeah. pour a bit of those out All right, seed bead End cap, inverted end cap, bead, another end cap, bead cap, whatever you want to call them, and then another seed bead. Alright, once again I'm going to leave a little space because you don't want to crack that glass seed bead. Alright. I always try to line my eyes up where the mm -hmm. all right I bend it back then use my index finger as a gauge where to cut it off all right then same quarter inch up I grab the end and I'm gonna twist it back towards myself Another insert coughing fit here. Alright, then I just continue to spin it back on itself. Alright, then I'll get to there. Now you could leave this open until you go to put your bracelet together. I go ahead and close it just to keep the seed beads and everything on, on, on there. Alright. I'll show you this one more time. Alright. 
seed bead inverted in cap a uh, bead cap bead another end cap and another seed bead give a little wiggle room fold that back cut the end of it off roll that back on itself Right. Okay, now if you have one of those uh, one step looper things, you can definitely use that. I was gifted one. I guess I'm just too old. <laughs> I'm too set in my ways. Now we'll put one of these together. All right, I'm gonna start with one of the beads. Now I'm gonna reopen <laughs> what we just closed. And I'm gonna take one of the glass beads, loop it in, and then reclose. All right, same thing on the other end. Open. Now loop one of the beads. And reclose. Okay. I'm just going to continue on doing that. And I'll do both bracelets. And then we'll put the toggles on. Now I always put the bar on first and I put it on the end that's got the glass bead because it's a small glass bead All right. Okay, it's as easy as that. Now, if you need to check and see that you've really got it closed, try to stick your fingernail in the gap. If you can't, then it's closed. Unless you've got fake fingernails. <laughs> then it won't work. And the only reason I say that is because fake fingernails are too thick. Okay. I'll just reverse it and put the loop on the other end. Can't stick my fingernail in. And it's done. Okay. Okay. That's why you want to make sure it's got that extra jump ring. Because that toggle needs to come up through the hole and I mean up before you can fit both sides in see if it if it doesn't have the ability to come up you'll never get that other end through the hole all right pretty pretty all right, there they are, two candy cane bracelets. Well, that's what I'm going to call them anyway. <laughs> two candy cane bracelets. From the scrap that we had left over from the candy cane earrings. All right. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> okay, I've got an Amazon shop. That I'll get a little kickback from if you order anything through there. The polymer clay. Uh, the mica powders. All, 
there's a resin list and a polymer clay list. If you can't find something on one, just look on the other. Um, now the glass beads, we go to our local trade days, which Bowie, Texas, I don't know if you know, but has one of the oldest trade days. I know in Texas, but possibly the whole United States. All right, so I go to, I go to my bead lady. I've been going to her for years, and that's where I get all these fantastic glass beads. She also has um, natural, uh, semi-precious stone chips, precious stone chips. Uh, the whole nine yards. And I mean, she's got gorgeous stuff. Alright. So, there won't be a link for the beads, unfortunately. But, you can buy uh, glass beads off of Amazon. Off of just about everywhere. Okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you know I'm going to say it again. Give all the videos you watch a like. I mean, unless you really don't like the video. Um, that's, that's what the YouTube, al the YouTube algorithm <laughs> is picking up on right now. So that would help out every creator. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye for now.